Hello there everybody and welcome to episode 7. Um, firstly, th first of all thank you very much to my new subscribers. I've had a, a couple of new ones and thank you very much to the person who commented on my last video. That's my first comment on one of the Skyrim videos and I thank you very very much for it. That's exactly what I what I needed, a nice boost and I'm very grateful. Um, in this episode we have to go up 7,000 steps. 7,000 freaking steps. When that Yarl said about those steps, I thought, what could it mean? Really? He talks about it as if it's a wonderful thing to have to climb 7,000 steps. Doesn't sound wonderful I'm to me. Steps again, not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. Oh. That isn't safe. But what does he want to climb it for? Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Okay. Well, what type of deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Hmm, I think I do. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Mm. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Yeah, I bet. Oh, another thing I have to volunteer for, I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Alrighty. We will do that. Uh, anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. No, of course Other than not. that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Yes, I bet they can. What about this uh, guy? Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? You seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, yes, I will. Yeah, right, I you two gentlemen can just go on. And uh, yes, this would be the base of the 7,000 steps. Okay, well, up here, there are some uh, tablets or stones or something, etch tablet, you can actually read it, but it doesn't really do anything, you don't get anything from it, so just keep on running up the stairs, keep on running up the apples and pears. Well. And that's one wolf down. You said a wolf pack or stray? Well, I think that's a stray because it's just the one on its own. Are you with me, Lydia? Yes. Uh, come on, girl. Let's go. Imagine doing this in real life. You wouldn't run up it like this consistently, would you? I mean, there are some parts of it that are, are sort of like down a little bit because it kind of zigzags up and down. But overall, it's a big, long slog up to the top. Yeah, we get mountain goats, as usual. Don't need to sheath my, or withdraw my weapon at the moment. Just keep going. Ah, uh, who's this? Archer, it looks like. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to Yeah, high someone's top. already told mm -hmm. me. Did you hear the grey beds called Dovakin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Hmm, me too. Where are you going? I like to spend Or what are you doing, here. rather? Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. No, of course not. Do you visit the grey beds? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. 
Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Hmm. They sound incredibly right. reclusive and also elusive. They wish to uh, practice their meditation in peace and solitude, and I don't blame them. And as they want something to do with me, as I am the dragonborn, they must be really serious. Oh, there's a red dot. Another wolf. An ice wolf. It's a bit more difficult to kill. Oh, thanks, Lydia. She shot an arrow at it for me. Good on you, girl. An ice wolf pelt. I think that would fetch a better price than a normal wolf pelt. I'm going to check that she's still running with me. Yeah, she's coming. She's a bit slow. We've got to love Lydia, but yeah, she can be slow. Oh, another wolf. That's, uh, was it four wolves so far? Four wolves. Right, well, I'm going to save. I know I keep announcing my saves every time, but it's just so you know what I'm doing. Another goot. Oh, she's such a slow coach. I don't. I mean, can anyone tell me in the comments if you've played this game before, how frustrated do you get with Lydia? Is she slow with you? Does she get stuck? She's got stuck with me before. She's a great warrior when she wants to be, but sometimes it's almost like she's. She has a bit of a la di da attitude to things sometimes. And sometimes you literally have to shout at her to get her to move out of a glitchy phase that she's got herself into. So sometimes you can lose the stairs along here. And you have to just sort of rejoin them again. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down. But generally it's pretty much up. And I like that I'm doing it during the day. I don't think I'd fancy going up here at night time. Oh! A person meditating. Let's talk to them. A lady. Keep an eye. Yeah? Did you hear the greybeards called Dovakin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Hmm. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Of course. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Yes, the other guy said so too. Well, I don't think we can Good say day. any more. Um, yes, Lydia has caught up, finally. Let's just keep going. Oh, well, here they are. Just keep going up and up and up and up and up up. If I remember rightly, not too far from here we will meet our first troll and as we're at a low level the troll's going to be difficult very difficult to kill now so far in these episodes I've done I've not once died <laughs> keep my fingers crossed for that oh there's the troll up there um, I could fire an arrow at it but the thing is the troll will regenerate health really quick. Um, as soon as it sees me it will come for me. So do we fight it or do we run for it? I think what I'll do, I'll save and I'll try to fight it. One of the best ways to fight it is, where's my bow, is uh, they're very susceptible to fire but I think at this particular point it may well be susceptible to an arrow.
not hitting it, is it? Got him. Didn't make much of an impact. Start coming down for me. Every time I hit him, he sort of glows. It'd be so much better if this were a bow of flames because trolls are susceptible to fire. Are we just going to keep hitting him with arrows? No, he's going to come for me. He's going to go for Lydia. I'm going to get my arrow, or sorry, my warhammer. Yes, we did it! Oh my god, this is the first time I've killed this troll in all the times I've been up here. Oh my god, I've got some arrows back. We did it, Lydia! And I leveled up on archery too. Oh, that's brilliant. Let's see what my uh, skills are like at the moment. Um, nearly at level 7. Um, no, I don't need to take that out again. Fine. I actually defeated the troll. I can't believe that. At level 6. Nearly at level 7. I can't believe that. But anyway. Let's not dwell on it. Let's just keep going. Up to High Hearthgar. Right, where are the stairs? Have I lost the stairs? Oh, it must be up over here. Yes, here we are. Always look for the pillars. If you lose your steps, look for the pillars. Such a beautiful, beautiful place. Must be absolutely freezing. But of course, being a computer game, yeah, you don't really feel things like that. So let's keep going. Oh, we're nearly there. Hasn't taken us as long as I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, the uh, arrows are lighting now on the it's like the the castle or fortress symbol. So we've only got a few more steps to make. And we haven't seen any more pilgrims. I don't think we'll see any more. Memory serves. That's all we'll encounter. Yes, we're not far off at all. So I can complete two quests. Uh, I can put the offering in the chest. And also I can go into High Hrothgar, which I'm supposed to. It's got the arrow on the chest, I believe. I've discovered High Hrothgar. Okay. Right, where is that uh, offering? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where are you? Oh, here we are. Uh, Kimlik Supplies. Yep, damn it. Okay. Come on then, Lydia. Let's go meet the Greybeards. Okay, well this is a very, very temple-esque place. This is the person whom we need to whom we need to speak. Who are you? So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Wow. If you recognise this gentleman's voice. He's voiced by no other than the legendary Christopher Plummer of Sound of Music fame. Yes, anyway, without further ado, let's get on. So, um, you call me Dragonborn, what does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us right. taste of your voice. 
Well, you should know already. All right, well, uh, make sure I've definitely got my shout equipped. Whoops. Shout, right, okay. Shout at us. Let us taste of your dragonborn. It is you. Welcome to High Rothgar. Wow. I am Master Angi. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Well, you summoned me. Who am I supposed... To, what am I supposed to do? I'm answering your summons, Master. We are honoured to welcome a Dragonborn to High Rothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfilment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Okay. Right, um, what do I say? Um, well, he's already told me where, he, you know, who he is, and I know what this place is, so I don't need to ask that. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. Mm. Dragonborn. I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Right. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Okay. You are the only one that has been reviewed thus far. That is all I can say. Well, I certainly feel very privileged. Anyway, I am ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Oh. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Okay. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Okay. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Okay. Ro. Ro. Oh, I just need to go to it, um, and then it will learn it for me. Yeah. Do I have to stand on it? Or yeah. Okay. Right. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of hope. Okay. Because that's the equivalent of absorbing a dragon soul, so I can unlock a shout. Alright. So I just have to stand here. Demonstrate the unrelenting. Oh. your unrelenting force shout? to strike the targets as they appear. Okay. I've done it once. You can do it again. Well done. Again. And last one, when they say so. You learn quickly. Once more. Cool. Three times done. Your thumb is precise. You 
show great promise right now. Wow. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Okay, uh, follow this gentleman. We walk very slowly, it's a little bit annoying and we can't fast travel. We walk slower than I can really control this character, I have to push ever so gently on the controller. <laughs> Nice place to learn things, isn't it? We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Okay. Wood. Wood. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bonnie and he will give you his knowledge of wood. Again, same thing again. Need that knowledge. Oh yeah, I've done this before and failed. <laughs> Okay. Stand next to me. Right, I need to make sure I've got the right shout equipped because I've still got unrelenting force. The body will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Right, okay. Oh, not quite. Is this your best effort? Again. Connect, oh, Lydia. To yes, I'm going to. I'm right behind you. Wait here. I will remain on guard here. Right. <laughs> wow! Did it. Your quick mastery of a new thumb is. Uh, quick mastery. It took me three tries. I've heard the stories <laughs> of the abilities of Dragonborn. But to see it for myself. It's not the only time I failed the first time. Didn't quite manage to get the angle right and Lydia getting in the way was annoying. I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Okay. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. So I've completed the way of the voice. Um, yeah, so let's see um, what else he's got to say. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Yes. Well, let's um, ask more questions. So I've already asked about Dragonborn. I've Why shouts in dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. Hmm. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth 
granted us the ability to speak. I thought it was Akatosh that granted For that ability. People, long years of training are required to learn. Anyone else notice the that they he shall. said Akatosh and I was but saying Kinnereth. The dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Okay. There are only four of you? Five. Our leader Parthenax lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Okay. Uh, who was Jürgen Winkholder? He was a great war leader of the ancient North, a master of the voice or tongue. Mm. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. Yeah. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice was born. Wow. Okay. Let's ask a bit more about the way of the voice. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. Yeah, you kind true of already said that. The voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Hmm. But I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. Is it Akatosh or Conoreth? to guide you on the proper I'm use confused. of the which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Let's see, I don't need to know about when can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. All right. Well, I don't think I need to ask any more questions. Breath and focus. I think we're done. Lydia. We heading out? Yes, follow me. As you will, my thing. I will protect you with my life. Yes, I know you will. Uh, thank you very much, Lydia. Thank you, Iyengar. And uh, Parthenax, I believe, is up that way. And we'll get to meet him quite some time soon. So that's it for this episode. We've, we've climbed 7,000 steps. It didn't take as long as I thought it would killed a frost troll while we're at it our first one um the graybeards learned two new shouts well we've learned to enhance one and then another shout i now need to go and find this place of jürgen windcaller that will be the next episode anyways thank you very very much please like share subscribe this um I would be very grateful for any feedback you can give me, be it positive or negative. If you're going to give me a thumbs down, that's perfectly fine, but just please tell me why. I'd really, really appreciate that, because I can only grow on the back of feedback. So, thank you again. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>